Okay, we're gonna go for the service this morning. So, let's see how that goes. This is the 600 mile service for the BMW. Sure, the center is connected. Okay, I can hear the music. So that is connected. Uh, what about my phone? Okay guys, uh, good morning. Uh, I'm going to the uh, service appointment this morning for the 600 mile service. Actually my odometer is showing about 700 and something. So probably was slackened off a little bit on that. I'm not sure if it's good or bad, but uh, let's see. Uh, it's about half an hour right from here. So I hit uh, riding in the traffic in the day but uh, you know I guess this is one thing which needs to be done okay couple of things I figured out I need to practice in my riding first thing is to really go easy on uh, holding the handlebars because I have kind of tendency to hold it a little too tight I need to relax on the handlebars that's number one I guess that's probably the main thing and then give my right hand a little bit of a rest when I'm holding down to the uh, throttle kind of hold the throttle on a little too tight I think so those are the two things that I'm going to be working on and uh, yeah I just thought I will do some motor vlogging on the way there because of uh, you're going to be traveling through traffic anyway so yeah, it's going to be pretty uh, regular ride I guess I was reading uh, a book which uh, one of my fellow writers gave me from the last uh, meeting. A lot of good information on it, but I guess nowadays most of the information is available on YouTube, so I did not find anything new on it, but it was all really good stuff. Rehydrating what you need to do when uh, you're riding a motorcycle so it's, uh, that's some good stuff there another thing I was doing was uh, looking at a lot of YouTube videos <laughs> uh, there's some guys going uh, you know really fast on a Panigale and stuff like that I guess the sport bikes Hmm, not sure if I would ever do that kind of a thing. It's not that eventually I guess everybody gets to a point where the skill is good enough to do some of it, but uh, I'm not sure that's my thing. I guess uh, my thing is just to get out and explore rather than uh, go fast on a racetrack, especially when uh, a minor slip uh, will just 
take your flying all the tarmac so that's not uh, what I like okay so this person is going really slow taking it easy which is good so that's what it is and uh, I will talk to you guys a little later as we get closer Okay, now we are getting closer to the dealership. <sighs> What's the time? 10.08. Our appointment was supposed to be at 10 o'clock, so I think we should be there. Okay. Yeah. Riding against the sun is a bit of a pain. I probably need some sunscreen, I guess. And I need forgot my sunglasses. That's probably what I need. Okay, so yeah, I got my old stuff with me, so if I get bored, I can do some stuff. I think I hope to have a, a nice lounge where you can chill out, but uh, we'll see. We will see, as always. Just need to chill out and enjoy the ride. So this dealership uh, is a place I came the first time to take a look at the bike. <laughs> so hopefully I don't run into any of those salesmen out here. <laughs> yeah, although to be fair to myself, I don't think uh, they had a, a low suspension bike in the 2017 model year. So I would not have bought it anyway. I think so. But uh, anyway service department I guess is another beast altogether so uh, I remember coming to this dealership back about four or five years ago to check out the K13S uh, yeah and that was that was a sports bike sports tourer at that time I was um, just starting to look at bikes so that was really cool but then I figured out that if I have to go anywhere then the GS would be a better option of course uh, Mr. Charlie and Mr. Even had something to say to that so man, I gotta go back and watch that again those guys are, were really fun back when the day when there was no motor vlogging I remember they had to have their camera diaries which was really cool I thought so pretty much talking through the whole thing and they had to have a cameraman with them because there's nobody to take the footage but uh, that was good that was good a road of the bones Magadan hmm. someday don't like the city riding because you never know what anybody's gonna do so but what the heck you gotta do it sometime that's why I probably will never use it for commuting I guess because it's too much of a hassle just to keep track of all these people as one motor vlogger calls them the cagers <coughs> that's too funny I guess we are all cages too, or we have a cage at home. <laughs> yeah, the sun is bothering me a little, but I should get my sunglasses out next time. 
Oh, no, forget that. It's pretty. I've never come to this part of Plano. That's probably downtown Plano. Avenue, that's where I need to make a left. Oh, I remember. Somewhere around here. It's pretty nice. I like this. Although, Key Avenue here is a one way. Maybe it's north of Park. I got confused. I thought it was north of 15th Street, but I think it's north of Park. Okay. Otherwise, we have the GPS and the good old phone. So that should help us out. It's here on the right hand side if I remember right. But Too late. I need to figure that out. Just stop the camera. Okay. Got the servicing done. Uh, bike looks good. Not too much dirt. I guess they don't wash it. But. Uh, Let's see what we got. And see if it rides any different. I don't think that should make a difference, but... Sorry? Huh? Sorry? Sorry? I said looking good. Oh, thank you, thank you.
Okay, we're back. Uh, riding back home. Have a good service. Chatted with a lot of guys. Hank from my Saturday morning meetup. Although it looks like they have adjusted some settings, I need to set them back. So we'll figure that out. To make a left turn somewhere next uh, next signal, I guess. So move over to the right lane. Okay, again, remember, easy on the handlebars and easy on the throttle. Relax, relax. That's what I need to do. We're back on the road again. Uh, the guys were telling me uh, a lot of different stories on their riding stuff. Uh, <laughs> it's some crazy stuff people do. But uh, yeah, the next step now that the service has been done and everything has been taken care of, I think uh, I need to just get out on my own and all those different back roads out here. Uh, so that's gonna be my goal now. So probably uh, get up uh, every Saturday morning and or Sunday morning and uh, ride around for a couple of hours and get used to it uh, because I think uh, <laughs> I pretty much know the theory for most of the riding skills which are needed for me. So it's just a matter of practicing, and uh, I think that's uh, that's gonna take care of it. So, anyway, as usual, watch for all these guys we want to jump in. That's the main aim. It's just practice, practice, practice. It's a to figure out how to switch on the headlights, I think. This uh, setting has been switched to the basic and not the custom, so I need to switch that back on to custom. I forgot how to do that. One thing I figured out is uh, if you want to take the pressure off your hand, then you gotta hold the bike with your leg a little tighter, so that makes it a lot easier. So try to focus on that one too I think that might be a good trick to have because I guess uh, if you're going to go on a long ride you want to make sure you're really comfortable and relaxed it was good talking to Hank and his experiences <laughs> on riding the motorcycle alone <laughs> 